Hey, uh, Chris Good here, and this is a continuing series of videos on making guitars in Fusion 360 and cutting them out on a CNC milling machine. And if you uh, joined us last time, we managed to import this PDF of a uh, Telecaster body, pretty stock Telecaster that we uh, found online. And um, we're going to now insert a similar plan for the neck. So we're going to choose Insert SVG. And I've got, uh, I'm going to choose the same plane as our um, existing sketch. And I'm going to select this Telecaster neck SVG that I found. And if you remember last time, we had that scale factor that we had to put in. This one's really close, but I'm still going to scale it anyway um, with the scaling factor. And now we're going to, oops, scaling factor. Now we're going to sort of rotate this thing around and get into the right orientation. You'll notice that this sketch includes a couple of different aspects of the neck. And we're only going to use this top facing one up here, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to stick it here anyway. Um, I'm not going to align it here. We still need to manipulate both of these sketches um, a little bit. So I'm going to keep it out here for now. We can always move it back later and do some measurements to check. One measurement that you might want to do is from this line here on the nut and and just draw a line that's 25.5 inches. That's the scale on a telly. And it should end up close to the uh, bridge screws. Uh, down here, these four screws that are going to secure the bridge piece to the body, um, and the saddles actually sit right over this area, um, depending on the bridge that you get. So you should check it out, do a couple of measurements, and make sure that you get the scale right. That plus the neck width uh, are the two most important measurements. So the neck's got to fit in that pocket really nicely, and of course the scale's got to be correct or else your intonation isn't going to work out. Okay, so I've already done the scaling factor. I've got it kind of in the neighborhood where I want it. I might move it up just a little tiny bit just so it's kind of sort of on that center line. And I'm going to hit OK. Okay. This looks pretty good, except for the fact that you see how some of these areas are um, shaded yellow and there's some areas that are not. Um, when you can select something like that, it means it's enclosed by a closed vector. And the fact that we can't select, for example, this part of the pick guard or this part of the body right here, I'm clicking, maybe you can hear, means that um, there's an opening somewhere um, in the sketch. So we're going to have to edit that sketch. We're already in sketch mode. And there's this really cool add-in that you can get, and it's called uh, Fill Gaps, and it fills gaps between endpoints in a sketch. And we're going to apply this first to the neck part of the sketch. So we're going to fill gaps. I think it costs like $5, but it's been just incredibly useful for cleaning stuff up if you're going to do it this way. So if you're drawing your own sketches, you can make sure that they're filled. If you're copying stuff from existing plans, uh, I find this to be indispensable. So fill gaps, the only parameter that you need to choose is the gap width. And for the uh, neck part, I'm just going to pick uh, 0.02 inches. Now this is going to take a while, so I'm going to uh, skip ahead in the video to when this is done. All right. Oh, goodness. Well, um, that plugin, even though I just selected this part, did it for the entire sketch, except for this part on the bottom. Must have missed one, but it's done what we wanted it to do. Um, it's filled in not only on the neck, um, connected all of the uh, disconnected lines, but it's also done that for the body as well. That becomes really important because the first thing that we're going to do uh, to create um, part of the guitar is to highlight um, all of these different enclosed areas right now. Um, and we're going to do an extrude to actually bring this two-dimensional sketch into three dimensions, uh, something that is actually going to get carved by the CNC. And we'll do that in the next video.